After studying this module, you shall be able to know what is urine, what are the constituents of urine, what are the purposes of urine testing, what are the confirmatory tests of urine, what is the diagnostic screening of urine and how we will do the alcohol test through urine. Urine Urine can be defined as the liquid waste product secreted by kidneys by a process known as urination and is excreted through the urethra. The cellular metabolism produces various waste products that are needed to be cleared from the bloodstream and are also rich in nitrogen. Healthy urine is not toxic and only the undesirable substances are eliminated by the body. Usually the urine is transparent pale yellow solution but its color also ranges from colorless to pale yellow. Overhydration is indicated by the presence of the colorless urine. During the process of drug testing, if colorless urine is detected, then it suggests an attempt to avoid the detection of the illegal drugs in the bloodstream through the overhydration process. Repeat, the examination of urine may sometimes be required in the investigation of unnatural death like hanging and strangulation. A microscopic examination of the urine may be helpful to identify the organic and the inorganic substances or the substrates that help in the diagnosis. Many tests are used in analyzing the urine in order to determine whether it contains abnormal substances indicative of some diseases. Usually the substances that are not present in urine and can only be detected during its analysis are the glucose, the blood, protein, acetone and pus cells. Some renal function tests are based on the clearance of metabolites into the urine. The constituents of urine. The normal constituents of urine comprises of sodium chloride, the uric acid, hip uric acid, potassium, oxalate, amino acid, ammonia, traces of glucose, ketones, vitamins, hormones, calcium sulfate and keratinin. Whereas the abnormal constituents will include the sugars, proteins, ketone bodies, the bile salts and etc. Now about the contents and the appearance. The color of normal urine is that of a clear straw and consists of slight odor with some crystals and a small number of cells from the tissues which line the urinary bladder. Sugars, proteins, bacteria, yeast cells, ketones and parasitic organisms are not present in normal urine. A different time in a day a urine sample is collected can make a vast difference in the appearance of the specimen itself. Medicines and foods such as penicillin and red beets asparagus may affect the odor and color of urine. Although most color variations are harmless, they sometimes indicate the presence of serious disease. Purposes of urine test a urine test may be done in cases to check for a disease or infection of the urinary tract. The various signs and symptoms shown in the case of an urinary infection consists of the colored and bad smelling urine, pain and finding it hard to urinate, blood and urine, etc. In treatments for kidney stones, diabetes, UTI that is the urinary tract infection in case of high BP or blood pressure, the urine tests are done so as to keep a check for the conditions. Next, to diagnose the diseases or the disorders of the kidneys or the urinary tract and monitoring of the patients suffering from diabetes. To test for pregnancy, to screen for the 
drug abuse. In a urine test, the waste byproducts made by the kidneys and the various components present in it are checked for. In general urine test, we have shown the color, the clarity, the odor and the specific gravity, pH, protein, ketones and the microscopic analysis parameters and the variance in the normal and the abnormal urine. In terms of color, normal pale to dark yellow in color, abnormal various foods and medicines and drugs may affect the urine color. The long-term kidney disease or uncontrolled diabetes may also result in the change of urine color. Dark yellow urine can be caused by the dehydration and blood in urine causes its color to change in red. Next about the clarity, in case of normal it will be very clear. In abnormal cases, cloudy urine can be caused by pus, blood, sperm, bacteria, yeast crystals, mucus or the parasitic infections such as trichomoniasis. Now next comes the odor. In normal urine, it is a bad odor and in abnormal cases, the consumption of some food, vitamins and antibiotics can cause the urine to have a different odor, a sweet fruity odor may be caused by the uncontrolled diabetes. Next comes the specific gravity. In case of normal urine, it is 1.005 to 1.030. And in abnormal cases, a very high specific gravity means very concentrated urine, which may be caused by loss of too much liquid, sugar or protein in the urine. Very low specific gravity means diluted urine which may be caused by drinking too much fluid or severe kidney diseases. Next is the pH in normal cases. The pH varies from 4.6 to 8 and in abnormal cases wherein some foods and medicine can affect the pH level and it can be caused by severe vomiting, a kidney disease, some urinary tract infection and asthma. A low pH may be caused by severe lung diseases. Next is protein. Protein is not present in case of normal urine but in abnormal cases the protein in the urine indicates the kidney damage and infection, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes. Proteins in the urine may also indicate that the person is suffering from leukemia. Next ketones. Ketones are not normally present in the normal urine but in abnormal cases ketones in the urine shows uncontrolled diabetes, a very low carbohydrate diet, starvation or eating disorder may also result in the presence of ketone in urines. Then comes the microscopic analysis normal. Very few or no red or white blood cells or casts are seen. No bacteria, yeast cells, parasites or squamous cells are present. A few crystals are normally seen. In abnormal cases, the red blood cells in the urine indicate kidney or bladder injury or the kidney stones or a urinary tract infection or the UTI, rupture of blood vessels in the kidney test of degraded proteins in urine. Urine samples are tested with different instruments and techniques. In some cases the dipsticks are used that is the strips of plastic which changes color in presence of particular substances. Dipsticks can be used to measure the acidity of the urine that is its pH or the presence of blood, protein, sugar or substances produced during the breakdown of the fatty acids. The examination of the urine specimen is also carried out with the help of a microscope so as to determine if it contains crystals, pieces of fibrous material and even the blood cells. The various components that are checked for during a urine testing includes the bilirubin. Bilirubin is a bile salt formed by the breakdown of the red blood cells or the RBCs and is passed on from the body to the feces. General urine does not consist of bilirubin. 
in case if it is present it means that the liver is damaged or that the flow of the bile from the gallbladder is blocked and it passes in the bloodstream during the process of normal heme catabolism the final breakdown product results in the yellow colored bilirubin heme is present in hemoglobin that is the main component of the red blood cells or the rbcs bile and urine shows presence of bilirubin but its elevated level may indicate the presence of various diseases it is responsible for the yellow color of bruises the background straw yellow color of the urine via its reduced breakdown product or the urobilin the brown color of the feces and the yellow discoloration in jaundice it is also present in plants bilirubin has an open chain structure of four pyrrol like rings and in case of the heme molecule the four rings are connected to a larger ring that is known as the porphyrin ring it can be made soluble in water by conjugating it with the glucuronic acid and this process is an example of glucuronidation also the substance bilirubin is very much similar to that of the phytochrome pigment found in plants that are used to sense light and also to the pigment phycobilin used by the particular algae to capture light all these components have an open chain structure consisting of the four pyrrol rings and on being exposed to light some of the double bonds present in the bilirubin tends to isomerize thus this property is exploited by the technique of phototherapy used for the jaundiced newborns wherein the e and z isomers of bilirubin formed due to the exposure of light is more soluble than the unilluminated z isomer because there is a removal of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding thereby allowing the removal of the unconjugated bilirubin in the bile bilirubin is formed by the action of the bilirubin reductase on bilirubin which is a product formed during the process of heme catabolism resulting in a green colored bile pigment having a tetrapyrrolic structure on oxidation of bilirubin it again gets converted into bilirubin because of this process and the demonstration of the effective antioxidant property of the bilirubin it has resulted in the hypothesis that the bilirubin's main physiologic role is as a cellular antioxidant bilirubin is degraded by light and thus to carry out the bilirubin assays serum and blood samples should be protected from illumination for adults blood is typically collected by a needle from a vein in the arm blood is collected with the help of a heel stick in infants wherein a sharp small blade is used to cut the heat and therefore a few drops of blood are collected in the small tube the bilirubin level found in the body reflects the balance between the production and the excretion blood test results should always be interpreted using the reference range produced by the laboratory that performed the test but typical 0.3 to 1.9 mg per deciliter for the adults and 340 micromole per liter for the newborns the circulation of bilirubin in the blood stream is carried out in two forms that is the indirect bilirubin and the direct bilirubin in indirect bilirubin the indirect form of the bilirubin is not soluble in water but once it travels through the blood stream into the liver it is changed into the soluble form in case of direct bilirubin it is formed from the indirect bilirubin in liver and is readily dissolved in water the measurement for direct bilirubin levels and the total bilirubin can be measured from the blood 
but the indirect level of the bilirubin is derived from the direct and the total bilirubin measurements. High levels of bilirubin cause the whites of eyes and the skin to appear yellow. When bile passes from the liver to the small intestine, it causes blockage of tubes and the various blood disorders and jaundice may also be caused. In infants, minor jaundice may not pose serious problem but high bilirubin levels result in brain damage and other serious issues. The bilirubin tests are carried out so as to check the liver damage due to the various medicines and also in cases of liver disease for example cirrhosis and hepatitis. To find out the presence of tumors in pancreas or the presence of gallstones that may block the bile ducts to diagnose the conditions that cause increased destruction of red blood cells such as hemolytic anemia or the hemolytic disease of the newborns. To help make decisions about whether the newborn babies with neonatal jaundice need treatment, these babies may need treatment with special lights called the phototherapy. In rare cases, blood transfusions may also be needed or urobilinogen. Urobilinogen is formed by the breakdown of bilirubin. It is also passed from the body in a stool but only the small amount of it is present in urine. High amount of urobilinogen may be a sign of disease caused in liver or it may also be that the flow of bile has been blocked from the gallbladder. Benz Jones protein in about 90% I repeat in about 50% of the individuals suffering with a rare type of cancer this abnormal protein is found in their urine. A urine test is often done when multiple myeloma is suspected. Confirmatory tests for urine. The confirmatory test for urine or the confirmatory stain tests for urine are performed for the detection of various chemical constituents present in urine like the urea, creatinine and indicam. The common stains are detected by the detection of the urea by Gies test. The suspected stain is extracted with acetone and then the acetone extract is concentrated by evaporation. The concentrated extract is then filtered and then it is evaporated to dryness. The residue is dissolved in acetone mixed with the help of a glass rod. A drop of the solution is then placed onto a microscopic slide and then again it is allowed to evaporate. After this, the separation of the urea crystals may be observed. The crystals are long colorless, 4 to 6 rhombic crystals. The nitric acid solution is acid by the help of the glass rod and the urea nitrate crystals may be observed. Detection of creatinine. Concentrated stain is taken onto a chromatographic paper and it is treated with two normal NaOH solution and then one drop of picric acid is added to it. The red colored crystals indicates the presence of creatinine. Next comes the detection of indican. One milliliter of resorcinol reagent is added to the small quantity of the extracted stain. Then about one milliliter of the cupric bromide solution is added, mixed and whole mixture is extracted with amyl acetate. The red color of the crystal indicates the presence of indican. Drug screening in urine. The screening of drug test in the urine is done for the presence of sedative parent drug or its metabolites. The drug level and their metabolites are not predictive as when the drug was taken or how much it was taken. It is simply a confirmatory test indicating the presence of the parent drug or its metabolites. The collection for urine sample is done at a remote location in a specially designed cup. 
sealed with tamper resistant tape and dispatched to a testing laboratory to be screened for the drugs. Presumptive substance testing. The presumptive tests are carried out so as to identify a suspected material or substance. This test involves the mixing of the suspicious material with the chemical in order so that color change appears and that indicates if a drug is present or not. A very small amount of the material is needed so as to obtain the results and can be used to test powders, pills, capsules, crystals or organic material. This is also indicative to detect the illicit materials or the drugs when mixed with other non-illicit substances or materials. The tests are used for general screening purposes offering a generic result for the presence of a widespread usage of drugs including the heroin, cocaine or crack, methamphetamines, amphetamines, ecstasy or MDMA, methadone, ketamine, PCP, PMA, DMT, MD, PV, methadone and may detect rapidly evolving synthetic design drugs in urine. Diagnostic screening in urine. The test is used in cases of life-threatening symptoms, unconsciousness or in an emergency situation the screening for common drugs are done these tests can also be done post-mortem during an autopsy in cases where a death was not expected these tests is usually done within 96 hours after the desire for the test is realized both a urine sample and the blood sample are tested various panels are used for screening Urine samples for common substances, example the triage A that detects amphetamines, benzodiazepines, cocaine, methadone, opiates, cannabis, barbiturates and tricycle antidepressant drugs. Results are observed in 10 to 15 minutes. Similar screenings may be used to evaluate the possible number of day trip drugs also and their possible usage. This is done in cases of urine samples. The determination of time for different drugs in urine as shown in this table we have given the different types of drugs and their detection time in urine. The various types of drugs given in this table are the marijuana, amphetamines, cocaine, heroin, opiates and the PCP. The most popular drug test is the urine test by which the drug marijuana can be detected for days or weeks even after its use. Now these tests are not very effective in detecting the psychoactive compound THC that is delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol present in the drug marijuana but they detect the non-psychoactive marijuana metabolites. The THC COH that lingers in the body for days or even weeks with no prejudicing effects as the non-psychoactive component has an unusual longer elimination time that's why these tests are more sensitive to marijuana as compared to other commonly used drugs. The forensic detection on the drug marijuana in urine. The alcohol test is carried out so as to determine whether the individual has been drinking in the past or not. However, these tests are not appropriate to determine whether or not someone is currently intoxicated because a positive outcome does not necessarily indicate the immediate presence of alcohol in the body. Urine alcohol tests including the ETG tests are typically used in situations when the person is required to be completely abstinent either permanently or over a specified period of time. This can be contrasted to situations where people are permitted to drink legally while on their own time but not permitted to drink while performing specific tasks. In this case an alcohol urine test at the conclusion of the period in which he or she has visitation or custody could be administered 
to ensure that he or she did not consume alcohol in the recent past. The urine alcohol tests are frequently required by the court order or signed agreements between the former spouses. Usually the urine is a transparent pale yellow solution but its color also ranges from colorless to pale yellow. The color of normal urine is that of the clearest straw and consists of slight odor with some crystals and a small number of cells from the tissues which line the urinary bladder. The examination of the urine specimen is also carried out with the help of a microscope so as to determine if it contains crystals, pieces of fibrous material and even blood cells. Bilirubin is formed by the action of the biliverdin reductase to biliverdin which is product formed during the process of the heme catabolism resulting in a green colored bile pigment having a tetrapyrolic structure. Lastly, urobilinogen is formed by the breakdown of bilirubin.